remember rightly, the BMX truck is down that way. Yep. Well, there we go. There's some yep. tents with BMX on. <laughs> Thank you. So. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day. Thank you. You too. See ya. Bye. -bye. Go back here somewhere. Do, 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 do. Castle Towers, I don't want to go that far. Let's go back to this little spot just here I was after before. That one. That's an Avenue Castle Hill. Let's do that. Oh. Um, we've got an edit trip to take out that one there. Do -do. And go. Alright. Now we're going, we've been in and now we're going out the uh, Fred Cutterson Reserve at Castle, Tower, uh, Castle Hill and uh, winding road with no centre line, uh, cars parked both sides, lots of pedestrians and now a couple of boys on bikes. Uh, I just did have to give it one little nudge to on the accelerator pedal when we were passing that uh, pedestrian on the left and a truck approaching on the right back there. But otherwise he's doing really well. A little bit fast over some of these um, speed, speed, speed bumps. That one was alright. It would probably be helpful if um, FSD would read these advisory speed signs at least. Some of them some of them are reasonably accurate concerning the speed you should take the speed pumps at. At least they give it a reasonable indication. Uh, this is uh, what well, Saturday, which would be Thursday, Friday. It would be day ten of uh, full self-driving, supervised down under thirteen point two point nine. In Australia, one significant thing I've noticed in the last couple of days only, FSD is almost always ignoring my um, use of the indicator to uh, prompt a lane change. It, uh, ignoring just about every one of them. It was responding to my use of the indicator in the first couple of days. This one could be a bit slower. Oh, God. Um, was responding to my use of the indicator in the first couple of days, but just uh, more recently it's ignoring them completely. Uh, maybe I didn't see that small, I mean, it was a very short but um, high speed bump. This one here is a uh, similar height but much longer, and it's down to 11 kilometres. 11 kilometres an hour to uh, take that one. Groove is quite a lot. I don't think the uh, I don't think these 5 megapixel cameras see as well as a human eye. Um, I can't determine the exact shape of speed bumps the way a human eye can. I'm hoping the next version uh, will improve that. I've read some things about it and it seems to be uh, a big improvement in a couple of ways in uh, image processing, which see also all suggest together might allow the car to or allow FSD to see things in more detail. Anyway, that was in and out of Fred Carson Reserve in Castle Hill. Uh, thank you for watching. As always, please like and subscribe and catch you on the next video.